What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. Today I got a movie review of The Flash, starring Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, and Sasha Kaye. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Did I like this movie? Yes, I liked it. I thought it was very entertaining. And here's a couple reasons why I really liked it. It starts out strong. It starts out like an action movie, an action superhero movie. You're getting introduced to the characters. There's a lot of action going on. There's a lot of comedy going on. So within the first part of the movie, they're already setting the tempo. There's gonna be action, there's gonna be comedy, and you're gonna care about what's really going on on the screen. It's very smartly done. I think the movie overall was smartly done. As it goes along, I start getting connected with this Flash character. Um, Ezra Miller did a really good job playing multiple parts and the playing back and forth with it and bringing out the emotions and the, the reasoning behind different things. You also have Michael Keaton who came into this and added an extra level to it. I just really enjoyed the action, the pacing, the story. It didn't, I didn't feel like I was um, being carried along in this movie. Like they kind of went along and kind of helped it along. The plot, great job, action. So if you're not familiar with the Flash superhero character, that doesn't really matter in this one because you, you get to see a little bit of the origin of the Flash, right? I'm not gonna spoil it, there's no spoilers in this, but you'll see an origin. And what is the Flash's motivation, right? Like what, it, what and what kind of character is this? It also poses the question, if you could change time, would you? It actually pokes fun at it because there was a part where I'm sitting there watching a movie and I'm going, oh, back to the future. And it gets referenced. And talking about referencing other things, there are Easter eggs galore in this movie. So if you're into the DC comics and the movies and different things, there's so many Easter eggs in this that it, it that in itself was entertaining. But it's not, it's not, let's say cheesy, it's very smartly done. So I liked it. I liked that part of it. And for the cameos to show up in this, there were some cameos that I just, I started screaming in the theater. I was, I, I was enjoying myself in this movie. It was very enjoyable. Now there are a couple of um, parts where the language gets a little over the top. There's an F-bomb in there and the violence is a little bit much. The rating on the movie is a PG-13, and I would say that's pretty accurate. So there's not a lot of language in it, but there is some language. Uh, there is violence, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of, you know, there's no sex, so you don't have to worry about that. My rating for this movie, I'm gonna give it a nine. Action summer movie with some comedy in it. This movie was fun. I enjoyed it. I didn't feel like I had to see any of the other DC movies. But if I did, it added to it. But if I went in there and I didn't know anything about it, it was entertaining and it let me know about the characters. And the pacing was good. There were no points where I was like, oh, let's get on with it. There were points where I was just like, wow, can, we, can I catch my breath? <laughs> the runtime on this movie was two hours and 35 minutes. So it's two hours and 35 minutes of some good action. There is one extra scene post credits, like in the end of the credits. Might wanna stick around, check that out. Do you like the the superhero movies? Do you like the action movies? You know, which, what's your summer action movie pick? Cause we're right here getting ready to go into the summer action movies. And uh, this one right now, this is, this is my top uh, summer action movie. All right, so if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Hit that like button for me. I really do appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, think about subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. And until next time, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you all soon.